and I am naturopathic doctor and master of science in electrical engineering and I am the founder of Dr. O Solutions and people simply call me Dr. O. In this video uh, we will talk about oxygen. Uh, as you know already, we need oxygen in order to produce ozone, medical ozone, uh, medical grade ozone. And we have um, quite a variety of uh, sources for, um, for ozone. But first, uh, let me tell you a few things that we should know before proceeding and further discussing what kind of oxygen we will use. According to the standard ISO 8359, concentration of oxygen in oxygen feed using for breath, uh, breath therapy, any kind of therapy, cannot be less than 90%. And further, I will show you, we're going to measure it, actually do live testing, ozone, the uh, oxygen concentration in all these sources. Okay, then let me um, uh, talk to you about the, uh, what's the differences in the tanks and what's the differences in the oxygen, oxygen feed. Number one, um, let me tell you that as we measured before, and I will show you actually, we're going to perform actual tests right now, that a medical source or industrial source have the same uh, percentage, almost the same, plus minus 1%, and this is much more than 90%. Actually, it measures 95 plus percent. As industrial or medical, they all have high oxygen concentration. However, there is a big difference between industrial and, and, and medical source. As you can see, the tanks, the tanks material is different. In uh, industrial, they use, this, they use a steel. In uh, medical, they use aluminum. So, because in uh, oxygen is a highly uh, oxid oxidative gas, so it, it might create uh, the rust inside the tanks, if it's used for a long period of time. So for that reason, we always recommend uh, using uh, filter, oxygen filter on the feed line. It's available on our website, and this is how we attach this. Simply you split the line and attach the filter. There is no one-way valve, it just simply feeds through. Okay, that's called uh, bacterial filter as well, because it's a cell tiny holes, it filters bacteria as well. So we strongly recommend using this filter even on our medical uh, tanks because what we noticed, the medical tanks over the long period of time uh, have aluminum, built up aluminum oxide, which is like grayish substance. Okay. Very, very important things. Uh, please buy new tanks for as far as industrial. Uh, do not go to welding store and buy the old, and they will try to sell you old tanks. Please do not do that. Buy the new tanks, they're available, they cost about $80. This kind of tank is about 20 foot, uh, 20 cubic feet. And extremely important, make sure it's certified. And make sure there is certification. It's usually the mark right on the top. That certification mark for how long you can use the tank. Uh, all right. So let me show you how we. Uh, put the regulators on the tank. It's quite simple. As, a, as this is a medical, uh, this is a, a medical tank. Medical ha tank has, has, a, uh, has one, as you can see, there, there, is a, there is a hole that where the oxygen is coming out. And there is a two, knot, two, uh, two pins on the top of this. And there is a, there is a uh, ring rubber ring on the top. So make sure the rubber ring has no dirt in it uh, or just clean and make sure the seat is clean as well and this is very simple, it slides right over two knobs going to the holes you hand tight it you hand tight it, make sure before you open the top the top valve you put maybe on a one four, one one thir one thirty second, one uh, sixteenth before opening this top valve. And the reason for that is a lot of pressure is going to hit the membrane. 
and you just open it slightly, slightly and that's it, the all set. So you can see there's a gauge on the top, shows that the tank is almost full uh, because we didn't use it much. Mm. And that's ready to go. So in the knob controls the flow. Uh, controlling the oxygen flow controls your ozone concentration. Concentration chart is on the top. Now, so this is ready to go. Let me show you now. Here's how we do prepare the uh, industrial tank. The same thing, but inspect please the seat right there. So make sure that there is no dirt in it. You can't have a rag and just wipe it. That's fine. So you have to make sure so the uh, mating surface is clean too because we have quite a few coals people put it in and did some kind of dirt was inside and start leaking. So just simply just attach it. It's a regular thread. At this point it goes right in. So I'll just position it like that so we can see it. At this point you will need the wrench because the hand tightening the nut is not going to make, make it, uh, make, make it uh, sealed completely. So what you need is just slightly just make it a little tight, not too much. That's ready to go. Again, you open up uh, the regulator. I usually do 1 8 and open the valve. As you can see, now we can hear it even it's going out. Oxygen's going out. So that's ready to go. So this is something new we developed because we've been asked how to do uh, the rectal insufflation when we when people flying out, when people in a different uh, even countries, um, when they fly uh, some some people want to go and take um, ozone generator with them in another city, in a conference, a medical conference, so on and so forth. And it's not allowed to have pressurized tank. This tank you can go to the Lowe's or Home Depot. It contains 1.1 cubic feet of oxygen, which is might be not much if you breathe it, but for work, insufflations, it's plenty because it's only it's one cubic feet and you use only uh, uh, 200 cc's. Like I said, and this is the, this we developed this this regulator on it. So it's again it's very very simple, simple attaches. Only the thread is like counterclockwise. And this device will be available soon on the website. And as you can see, tank is full. And here is a regulator. It has the same low settings: 132nd, 116, 18, and so forth and so forth. Okay. And that's where you attach the oxygen. So the last source. I will explain it to you now. It's an oxygen concentrator. It is a small one uh, that's available on our website. Simply press the button and start producing oxygen. And oxygen flow is 1.0 liter per minute. Uh, oxygen concentrator, as you can hear, it just goes puffs. That means it separates oxygen from the rest of the, of the air that flows in. So there's a tank that has air inside now and it's just been replaced with the oxygen. So in order to have a high concentration, this unit must work for another 10 minutes before getting high concentration above 90. This actually produced 95. Okay, and let's uh, continue. Let's do the life test. So, because there is many, many different um, information that what's what's inside the tanks, how how do you know what's the concentration, um, and this is very simple. Here is a device. As you can see, it's oxygen concentrate concentrator uh, measure. It's analyzer. Okay, let's let's do from let's say, let's say, let's do from this. Thing. We'll attach the tubing to output. And as we know, there's one liter going out. And attached to the oxygen concentration meter, ex oxygen analyzer. And as you can see, start counting. Nine, 
96. 96, if you will switch. Uh, we can measure the pressure, but as you can see, the flow is uh, 1 liter, 0 0.9. And at 0 0.9, it produces 96. It was 95, now 96, because it's more, um, it's working and building up concentration. Okay, that's oxygen concentrator. Um, we have these devices, uh, oxygen concentrators, that will uh, have oxygen flow point, 0 0.5 liter per minute. Unfortunately, they build up for um, uh, most of the time for uh, oxygen therapy. We do not use low feed, so you need a special device addition to this in order to reduce the feed needed for high concentration. Uh, this oxygen concentrator, again, because you can see quite stable, even the 1.1 and 96, it's good for, for uh, breathing, it's good for producing oct um, ozonated oil, ozonated water. Uh, you can even use a bag, large bag, not a small one, uh, not the foot, not, uh, not, the, not the ankle, uh, foot or arm, but the leg, it's fine, it will handle it nicely. Um, so that is actually it, it is for. Now let's uh, shut this down, open up. Oxygen in the medical tank, let's do, um, well, let's do half a liter. Okay. I'm going to shut this down because it makes a noise. Uh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oxygen. Medical oxygen. Okay, let's see. Okay. What's happening? Okay, 95. Um, the flow is says zero because I put low flow, so that device cannot register very low flow. But as you can see, concentration is 95.7% uh, uh, in the feed. That's oxygen. Okay, let's shut it down. You will see it's going to go pretty much supposed to go to zero. Uh, oxygen stays inside, uh, so let me just do this. Um, it's counting down because I took, I took the tubing off. All right, let's do uh, this is back to zero. Let's do testing for industrial oxygen. So we'll do the same thing, we're going to put the end of one end of the tubing to the industrial tank, open this up, let's set it up for half a liter, half a liter per minute. It was zero, now it's counting up, 95.3. Again, I only put uh, only put half a liter, I believe, of water. I put it half a liter. Let's put one liter. So the device is registered, registering the flow. Okay. As you can see now, the device is registering the flow. And uh, one liter per minute feed, ninety-five point three in large industrial tanks. Okay, let's shut it down. Okay. Let's put the small tank on the line. Again. Uh, let's open up, open up the feed. Since it's a small tank, I'm going to put quarter with it. Okay, now it's counting down because it was air inside. Now it's counting up. When I switch it, there was air inside, that's why the numbers went down. Now going up. 
and such a small feed, I only because it's a small tank, I don't want to put one liter, it's going to blow it right out. Um, so as you can see, that I put only a quarter liter per minute feed, and it's already counting 94.4, so it's going to count into 95 we tested. Okay. So, uh, let it count, it's counting slowly up, and, um, and as you can see, uh, my friends, so all the oxygen sources, medical ones, or industrial this type, or even large tanks, they contain the same percentage of oxygen inside. And percentage of oxygen is 95%, and according to the standard, it has to be no less than 90% according to ISO standard. So that's pretty much industrial uh, oxygen satisfies the needs for medical uh, medical uh, med medical ox oxygen. So, but again, please make sure you use uh, inline oxygen filter because is this is disposable, this is quite clean. But when you're gonna start refilling this, you're gonna accumulate the rust and there's a lot of dirt inside, make sure you use it. Okay, that's all folks for this, uh, for this lecture. I hope it was fun. Please share it, like us, uh, stay in touch with us. Uh, so join our group uh, you know, on the Facebook, Medical Ozone Therapy Group. There, is, there are many people there already, uh, more than 500 people and people sharing the results, sharing the experience of ozone treatment, ozone therapies. And uh, we have uh, uh, Dr. O Solutions YouTube channel as well, that this lecture will be put on, on the Facebook and uh, YouTube channel. And stay in touch and please uh, share your experience with us too.